Hey guys, and welcome. Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we're going to be looking at the CW advice for June 2020, and here it is. So it is a sort of modified anti three star design with the town hall a little bit less accessible from the uh, back side of the base, or uh, it's sort of on its own. So that's sort of the meta for CWL bases that makes it a little bit harder to get the town hall, and that's a really important point for attacking in CWL. So you have to keep your keep the town hall in mind no matter what, and then having it on its own makes it a little bit harder to get other value, uh, especially if you're going to, if you're trying to get the Town Hall with a Queen Charge, then there's nothing else really in range unless you can get all the way to the Eagle. So that's sort of the idea of this base. So after a little bit of testing in Legend League, which is um, the easiest way to get uh, random people to hit your base, and uh, it's eight attacks a day makes it a lot easier to find uh, better trap locations for um, the final design. So we had the tornado trap on the left side because uh, a couple of people decided to do um, Getty Blimps on that side and that worked out quite well. So trapping that a little bit makes it a little bit harder to actually do that and harder to be successful with the rest of the attack. And then next um, I originally had the town hall where the air defense was, so a little bit closer to the inside of the base. But that makes it a little bit easier to access from the back side with a Yeti smash, so I decided to move it away a little bit. And that makes it a little bit more uh uh a little bit more of like so you hesitate more when trying to plan that. So it should make it a little bit easier to defend in uh, CWL or in Legend League, I guess. So next, uh, most people decided to do like Queen Charge or Yeti Smash uh, from the bottom right side by the Wizard Tower and the Archer Tower, so trapped up with a couple of uh, bombs and black mines, so that the healers won't survive too far into the middle of the base. And that's pretty much the entire reason for Yeti Smash being a good being a, a powerful attack is those healers staying on those Yetis and bowlers and the Queen. As long as nothing gets uh left behind and then the healers just are left behind just healing a bowler is hitting a wall or something. So yeah that is the base and the basic idea of that. So uh let me know if you want to see uh like how to start a base from like start to finish like maybe not from the design standpoint because there's a lot of things that can go wrong in just placing buildings and figuring out like what you can do and that takes a while to um get a design that looks right but if you want to see a design going from the uh first draft to the final product using like uh, legend league or even fcs then let me know and I'll see what I can do with that. So next up we're going to watch a couple of replays. This is actually from a war that uh, I ended up on both sides of, interestingly. So um, this is actually one hive attacking the space a couple of times without... Um... Uh, there we go. So neon waves with the yeti smash coming in from the bottom right side, just like I saw in Legend League. So this is after doing a couple of iterations of trap placements. So Warden coming in from the bottom side, and he's going to funnel off those storages, and eventually the um, the stuff's all going to end up in that town hall compartment. That's the idea of the attack, and we're going to see how that works out. So this base got three defenses in this single war. Um, I'm going to show you two of them because one of them was uh, a little bit harder to do in a CWL war because it was a uh, Yeti Smash from the backside. So now the CC comes out. CC is uh, two Ice Golems and 15 Archers. 
and the queen walks away, unfortunately. And that's kind of the, the biggest problem with this attack. And that that could have definitely be been fixed with like um, a little bit better execution, but uh, sometimes things just go wrong. So the queen goes on the outside, but already in on the inside, there's not much left. There's just a couple of yetis, and the um, the healers are already gone. Absolutely nothing in the left left in the back to uh, help out there. But I did like this touch with the um, the royal champion and the hogs from the uh, siege barracks. And if the uh, scatter shot and the expo there were taken out already, and the um, royal champ would just be going into the uh, infirmary tower compartment with her hogs, and that would have been all cool. But then she's met with skelly traps, and that is the end of her. So yeah, that's its defense against Yeti Smash, and the um... yeah. So the back end single Inferno Tower seems to do really well against Yeti Smash then, and since the right side, the bottom right side is very popular entry, then having the Inferno Towers at the top makes a lot more sense. So there we go, there's, an, there's a attack number one. And we're going to take a look at attack number two here is a, uh, a minor attack from Showtime. So I believe the um, first attack was the fresh attack and this was number attack number three I believe. So doing the exact same funnel with uh, on bottom side, uh, taking out bottom side buildings and taking out the right side with the um, baby dragon. And Queen Charge is going to go down the middle. So Queen's going to try and get the Town Hall, Heroes, and the Eagle, but it's going to be in range of all kinds of defenses that are out of her range of fire. So the scatter shot and the two expos and the the two ground expos uh, right next to it. But she is going to take down the town hall with ease. But she's not going to get too much further than that. So forgets to use a um, coco loon there. But that's sort of the thing that you may or may not forget to do in CWL too. She takes on the CC in range of three defenses or four defenses. And that's going to hurt her a whole bunch. But it does make a pretty nice path for the miners, so... Having this in mind, and having this as a popular strategy, a lot of the traps are in that sort of L shape. So, uh, specifically the spring traps are in that L, L shape. And also the um, seeking mines are also there too. So the Warden ability goes off over the Hogs, and it gets quite a bit done. But the um, Siege Barracks Hogs are a little bit too late, and everything's already dead. Um, the RC is coming out now, and that's going to attract all the Miners to her. But they're going to die to the uh, Expo, Wizard Tower, and Scattershot Inferno Tower too. So it's a lot of damage on them, and they can't really face that without the Warden ability or at least a heal and free spells. So without any of those, this is going to end up at a 80 something percent. Uh, so yeah, so let me know how it goes in CWL for you guys, and uh, I hope you enjoy the base as we as we uh, as the clock runs down. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the base, and I hope you enjoy future bases. Uh, I do have a Legend League base planned, uh, or a higher Legend League base planned in a few days. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.